Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is going to be a quick roundup of the process we have been through to receive our residency permit and our medical registration. I'm going to be doing this video alone, Jen's off Gallivant and back in England for a couple of weeks. I said in a previous couple of videos that I was going to compile this into one simple video, so here it is. So basically when we received our appointment at the Portuguese Embassy in England, we completed that and when we found out we were accepted, we received our passport back. Passports back, it was around 22 days, something like that, just over three weeks. And after that, we were also emailed by the gentleman who we had the initial appointment with, advising us that we needed to acquire our residence permit and our medical registration here in Portugal before our second appointment at the SEF. So that is what we've been in the process of doing. In the meantime, Jen's been on forums and had conflicting advice from people who have already had their second appointment here in Portugal, advising that they didn't have either of them two things when they had their appointment. And basically all that was checked was their bank statements, their rental agreement, which is what is checked on the first instance, your rental agreement, or if you own a property and a few other things. So whether or not we actually do need these for the second appointment is a bit of a grey area but we feel like if you can get them then it's only going to go in your favour when the second appointment rolls round so we have now got both of these things so firstly we decided to look into getting our residency permit and we needed to contact the local junta or camera which is the local council get in contact with the president which luckily we had the help of our neighbours and they already knew him, otherwise it probably would have been a very difficult process. So we turned up to the camera and our neighbours George and his daughter Diana came with us and the president didn't really seem to know what he was doing. Obviously this is post-Brexit, so it's new to everybody over here as well. Obviously the language barrier was a massive thing with us being going to a local junta out in the countryside. If you were near a city, you maybe wouldn't have too much of a bother, but having help from George and Diana was a big help as they breached a language barrier. And also, I think the president was also a lot more receptive of them for the process. And as it turned out, they actually needed to vouch for us. They needed to hand over their citizen cards to the president and countersign them as well so i think george did it for me and diana for jen i think that is the process for if you are applying for this residency permit now now in conflict with the information that we'd receive from a guy on the forum that you don't actually need these for your second appointment mine and jen's thinking was this would be a lot easier to get after your second SEF appointment so you've already got all the confirmation from the SEF and when you take that to your local junta or camera then they are going to be a lot more receptive of handing over this residency permit. Luckily we were managed to receive this before our second appointment so I don't know can't really advise which is the best way to go about it we think that having all the documentation that you possibly can for you before your second appointment is going to be the best way to do it but that is the situation we don't know whether they are actually going to be asking for this when we have our second appointment or whether they aren't so that is the first thing secondly is the medical registration so we went to the Centro de Saud, that's going to be the name of general name of any medical centre in Portugal. So you wouldn't just search online and find what your local one is. And then basically we went without an appointment and went to the reception. The lady spoke quite a bit of English, she was very helpful. She took our passport, our fiscal number or my fiscal number. If you are not a Portuguese resident you don't both need a NIF number to actually register for your medical registration so we were both able to register with our local Centro de Saúde with just my NIF number we can't actually get Jen her NIF number until after our second appointment when we have the second part of our visa because 
we actually visited the junta in Cerro Rico de Baira and they advised you can't apply for NIF without fiscal representation until you have the complete visa. The visa that we have at the moment is only valid until our second appointment date, which is around about August. So we're going to have to wait until after our second appointment to get Jen's NIF number. What she also needed for the medical registration was the residence permit. So we already had this residence permit when we took it. She took the original and we are in the dark at the moment as to whether we need another original for the second appointment. I think we are going to turn up without another original as getting a, getting a second one isn't really going to be a viable option. And from the information that we received online, it seems to be that they're not actually even going to ask for this at the appointment anyway. So for the medical registration, if they are needing the residence permit, it's looking more likely that you are going to go and get your medical registration after your second appointment but as you know everything in Portugal is pretty bureaucratic and everybody's circumstances seems to be different and the advice that they received is supposed to be diff is, is seems to be different also so all we can advise is get as much documentation as possible before your second appointment hopefully this video has helped out clear a few of your questions and if anybody has any further questions in regards to our process or if they are going through the process, if we can point them in the right direction of which way to go, then leave your comments in the comments section and I'll get back to you. So I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. The process isn't short by any means, but I hope this has helped answer some of your questions. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.